Hello and welcome to another tutorial from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're going to be looking at the checkup infographic and this is a medical type infographic and we, we're just going to, we have our colours on the right hand side, very medical type but on our left hand side you notice that we have some icons. This is an icon set of 15 medical flat with um symmetrical shadow effect 15 icons for you this would be free for you to download so i want you to go out there and and download it from the link provided so let's get straight into this tutorial this is a 1700 by 1700 canvas ignore the top and the bottom 1007 by 1007 as per usual and I've already added a gradient of white radial gradient to this bluish green on my right hand side. So first we're going to create a rectangle at the top. Get rid of this stroke. Make the rectangle white. Good. This is about a good width for the rectangle also. Then I'm going to duplicate this rectangle once. Squash it. Bring it to the side. Gonna give this a color of blue. Use use the lighter of the dark, deeper shades of blue, and I'm going to push up this. And in my tools control box, I'm going to lower the layer underneath the white rectangle. Next, I'm going to double click this, and you notice that we have two squares in a circle. So this is still an object that we can control in the tools control box with the rectangle tool. We're going to change this object to a path. So we're going to head into our menu and we're going to select object to path. You can also hit control shift and C to activate it. And you'll notice we'll get four nodes. Now, these nodes, we're going to highlight two, the two nodes on our left hand side and by holding left click by left clicking and dragging and then we're going to go to our tools control box at the top this menu up here and we're going to select insert new nodes into selected segment and this is going to put a new node in between the two existing nodes like this we only want the middle one selected so we're going to click the middle one click off then we're going to click this middle one and we're going to hold control so we can move it and I'm going to use our left mouse button, click on it and drag it in. And this creates the ribbon effect. Right. Next we're going to duplicate this, bring it over here, go out to our tools control box menu at the top and we're going to invert. Use the color dropper to turn it to red and we're going to drop it underneath the white. So we have our ribbon effect going on right here next we're going to go to our icons we're going to create the main infographic now and we're going to duplicate our stethoscope this is what the doctors use to check for the heartbeat they carry around their necks you'll get this included in the download and i'm going to change the prongs of this stethoscope to white next I'm going to delete these shadows because we want it flat and I'm going to double click or I can go to my tools box and select edit path nodes or I can use F2 on my keyboard because we want the nodes to show. Then with my left mouse button I'm going to drag and create a box to cover just these nodes right here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see just these nodes right here. I'm going to pull it out slightly. I think this is good. I'm going to do the same with this one on my left hand side. I'm going to pull it out. Just hold control while you're pulling so you get a straight line and pull it out. So I'm going to select these and just make sure that they line up. And they do. Right. Next, I'm going to get this circle and pull it down. About here is good. Then I'm going to select the heart icon duplicate it and put it in the middle good give and reduce the size of this heart slightly 
Alright. So we've got our Frogs White Blue. We're going to create our rectangles now. So we're going to go to the rectangle tool, create our first rectangle, and we're going to select this. In fact, select the blue, and it's going to be like this. Now, mine was already rounded, but I'm going to set reset it to how it would be if when you open it. Now we're going to round these boxes, these edges. And for that, we have to double click or go to the rectangle tool to our left hand side. I will see the two squares and the circle. By holding the circle and control, we can round the boxes edges proportionately or the boxes vertices proportionately. So we're going to round it to about here. This looks good. Lift this up. Then we're going to click on it again to get the rotation and skew handles. Hold control and we're going to rotate by one increment. And by one increment, you'll feel it, you'll see it snap every time you attempt to rotate it. So we just need to rotate it one increment. Good. I'm going to drag it over here so it's in line. Right, let me shorten this first and then drag it. Um, make it smaller. This looks good. And then we're going to rotate it. There we are. About. I think here is good. Right. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Set it to horizontal again. And I'm going to drag this out about here and rotate it. Probably need to drag out a bit more or better yet drag this in a bit more. It's still a bit too long for my taste. I think this is better. Okay. Yeah, it's looking much better. Rotate it. I'm going to give this a deep blue. Put it underneath. Duplicate this, rotate it again, this time two sides to get it looking like this. Gonna select the greenish blue, select this blue again, put it on top, make sure you duplicate with Ctrl and D each time. Then I'm gonna select the blue and I'm gonna move this blue to the side. And I can move this up a bit too. Alright, so now that we've created these lines, we want to make them look like they're folding into each other. So first we're going to select all of them, holding shift and selecting them. Or you can create a box to select all of them. And we're going to hit Control shift and C, which is the same thing as going to path and object to path. So all of them now will be changed to nodes. And what we're going to do in the first one I'm going to show we're going to do up here, I'm going to select these two outer nodes and we're going to hold control and we're going to drag them in until this marching ants box lines up with the line of our rectangle. I think that's about it. Good. We're going to do the same for this edge right here. Pull it out until it lines up with our rectangle. Good. And this probably needs to drag out even a little bit more. All right then. And this can drag in just a bit more too. Good, so for this now, probably gonna have to push this up slightly. Good. And we look out, we see that it's, it looks like it's folding into itself. And we're gonna apply this for the rest of them now. So for this one now, I'm going to select it. This one on top, sorry. Bring it out. Lines up with the box. Push it up. Okay, you can just push this in. And do the same here. Line it up. Box. Push it up. Great, and then down here, line it up with the marching ants box, 
push it up slightly and drag this in a bit let's push this down and drag this also so I have the box and push this out slightly so we get the impression that it's folding into itself now you have to play about with this a little bit make sure that the effect comes out as clean as you can but generally this is how it is done or this is how I've done it okay so next we're going to add a stick or connector to connect this part of it down here to the part that we actually put on the person's chest on the stethoscope I'm going to select these two I'm going to change this color to red Word. Highlight in. It's got a stroke. Let me get rid of the stroke. I'm going to lean this box so that it looks like it is part of the rectangle. Okay. And this will change the blue. I'm going to lift this above the red connector okay so we zoom out it's looking really good looking like how it was in the preview next we're going to add our speech bubbles to the right hand side also I'm just gonna add a, a banner at the bottom here stretch it across right, this looks good it across. I can even increase the size of this slightly. Good. Bring this down a slight tad bit more. Increase it even a bit more. Alright then. Cool. So we're going to create these boxes now. So I'm going to select, select a rectangle. I'm going to make this rectangle white. Put this down a bit. Okay, and we're going to round the circles of this, holding control again in the circle node here. And then we're going to change this to a path, so that's path, object to path, or control to C. Control shift and C, sorry. Then we're going to select these two nodes, and we're going to create, we're going to add a node in between these two nodes. I'm going to do the same from down the bottom left also. Create these two nodes, so that's the top right and bottom left. And we're going to delete these two nodes. Oops, sorry, we're gonna delete the outside nodes and leave the middle node. And that's gonna distort the box in a weird way, but you don't have to worry about that. First, we're going to select this node and this node, holding shift while selecting them. And we're going to straighten the handles. So for that, we have to go up to the top and select Make Segments Lines. And we see that it's straight in the handles to make it a line. We're gonna do the same with this one here and this one and this node. Gonna create and create a line for this node and this node. Gonna make segments lines and for this node and this node, make segments lines. Now I know that you can use a difference and create another rectangle to do this effect but because I've been playing with the nodes quite a lot in this tutorial I wanted to take you through using the nodes so we're going to use the nodes I'm going to move them so that they line up with the box and you notice that in order for me to move them I hold, I hold alt and then directional buttons to move them down and alt makes sure that the nodes move in increments, small increments, rather than just using the directional buttons to move in larger increments. So we have our shape right here. Very nice. I'm gonna scroll it down a bit. I'm gonna scale it down a bit. I'm gonna duplicate it then. And then I'm going to outset this. And you can go to object and I think it's path, sorry. Path, sorry, and outset. 
which is the same thing as control and parentheses. Because we're going to be pressing this multiple times, I'm just going to use the control and right parentheses or right circular bracket. And we're going to hold control and just hit it five times. All right. Then I'm going to press D, hold shift, because I want to select the stroke color. And I'm going to select this bluish green right here. All right. Then I'm going to hit Control Shift and F. You can go to Object and Fill and Stroke to open the Fill and Stroke panel. I want to make this about a, make it a seven. Let's make it thick. And then we're going to remove the fill. You can do it down here by right clicking and removing fill, or you can go here and select this X, and that will remove the fill. So we get this outline around our speech bubble. Gonna duplicate it, put one at the top here for the blue and one down here for the red, for the light blue, sorry. I'm gonna select this blue and I'm gonna select this outline, hold shift and D for the dropper tool and select the red. Right. And a bit close to the edge so I'm just gonna use the size a bit. So we have them, all we have to do now is add our text. So I'm just gonna go and get some text from the top and add our icon. So here's the text. Does some generated gibberish, Lorium Ipsum. Good. Then I'm going to select this line, select the Bezier and draw a line. It's kind of thin, so let's make it a bit thicker. Stroke it to make it four. Let's use a gray and bring down the subtlety of that black. Okay, drag this out. Use a bit more space. For this first one, I'm going to select this icon here. And that is the first aid and scale it down. Again, you're gonna get the icons in the link. You just have to go and download them. Then, I'm gonna move over to my right hand side and I'm going to select the doctor icon with the stethoscope around his neck. And I'm going to scale it down. Select this text and this border. Put it right here. The doctor a bit to the left. Okay. I think I'm going to use a lighter gray for this. So yeah, right now I'm just doing the final touches, but you can see the infographic already. Then I'm going to lastly set text of this. Drag this down. Drag it across, lift it up somewhat. And for this last icon, I'm going to use pill. Yeah. Actually, I think I should flip it. I think the doctor should come down here, really, if I remember properly. Yeah, I think I should flip this. We should go at the top. Mm -hmm. At the top, and the doctor goes here. Okay. Good. Just gonna check my other infographic to see what I type for this. And I type. First aid, medication, and pills. Okay, so 
just add it together now. Let's put our text and our header. Go up here, select our text tool, type in checkup. I like this. Let me just remove this negative kerning, which is a bug that's annoying me. Good. Bring the checkup down. And let's size this checkup up. For the header, I'm going to use lobster. Good, you'll get the link to that also. I'm gonna select the red color. Good. For the medical infographic up top, I'm using Agrea SC. I think I'm just going to use the sans so. though. Right. I'm going to type medical in the text box. Medical infographic. Good. And I'm going to make this bold. for these now first one is one pills now this is coming from Mike Morris and he gave me this tip in my perspective tutorial for skewing the text now we only skew it by 15 degrees so instead of playing about with the skewer until you get it the way you want it he suggested you could go to object transform or control shift and m and for your vertical skew because you're skewing it vertically you can skew it by 15 i have 15 here already but you have to type that in make sure degrees is selected here and it will be in your skew tab and you can just apply and it applies it for you so once you know the angle that you're skewing this by makes life a bit easier so thank you very much mr mike morris right so we have pills and we're going to add the next one which is medication dot medication let's bring this in a little bit and last but not least we're going to add this one which is oh no. was this pills i think this was first aid this first aid i'm gonna have to add a bit first aid my apologies zoom it down a bit medication and the last one was pills and it doesn't look 15 degrees on this but that's okay pills medication first aid and there we have it thank you for watching for read for watching my tutorials yeah this is the medical checkup tutorial looks good If you, again the icons and the fonts will be used I used Agrea and I also use Lobster version 1.4 I'm not sure if a later version is out but that's the version I used you can get the colors and the fonts and the icon set which is free for you to use and download you just have to head to the link in the description to get this information <laughs> all right then thanks for watching get up and design a new dawn later